Well, hello everybody. I'm doing a bit of an update here, and uh, first up we have a fully chambered upper and lower with about a four inch center block to about uh, about here, and then it just drops down to one inch uh, center spine. And uh, fully chambered, we have uh, what Jock is calling a uh, dragon's eye cutout instead of an F hole or a cat's eye. Uh, it's ready for getting a binding channel done, uh, rear and front, and the rest of the uh, <clears throat> uh, routing needs to be done as well. Right now it's sitting at about uh, 3 pounds, 14 ounces. Once it gets uh, final routing done, it's going to drop down even more. It's going to be very well balanced and comfortable. It's getting uh, a pair of Filtertron pickups in it, a black pick guard, and uh, finished in Pelham Blue. It's getting a two-piece uh, rosewood over maple neck, and it's going to be a really nice, stunning guitar. A little bit different with this uh, design here, a little, uh, little bit uh, unique. And uh, that's build number one. All right. Next, we have a standard T class for Jamie Cranford out of Newfoundland. This is a one-piece swamp ash body. It's going to weigh around four pounds once it's all said and done. It's getting a mini humbucker in it. It'll be finished in trans orange with a double uh, cream binding with a cream single ply pick guard and a standard control plate. And it's getting a bird's eye maple neck as well. It's going to look stunning. Uh, the maple or the amber that I'm going to do on the maple neck is going to really uh, match nicely with the trans orange body. And um, Looking forward to uh, hearing how this sounds, being a one-piece, seeing if I notice any difference from the two pieces that I normally do. Anyways, that's uh, the other build that's taking place, and we'll go on to another one. This piece here has just been glued. It hasn't been uh, cut out or uh, thickness uh, sanded yet, but this is a two-piece swamp ash. Again, it's going to be about four pounds once it's done, and this is going to be made for the Canadian or Guitars Canada uh, demo review. I'm going to send it to uh, them to do a review on it <clears throat> and get their take on the product that I'm putting out here. Um, I'm noticing that the T-Class is the most popular model so far. There isn't a lot of the S-Class being ordered. I'm doing a couple Jazz Masters, one for uh, Mike Dojak, which is uh, getting close to being completed. I'll be fretting his uh, neck tonight. This, uh, I don't know what we're doing finish-wise. Um, I'm kind of leaving that up to the guys on the thread to kind of give me some direction there, what they want, what they think will be the most stunning finish, whether it's a blonde or butterscotch or a solid color. I can go either way with it. So, and then I'll get a standard one-piece regular maple, uh, sugar maple neck with uh, Clusen tuners. And I haven't decided whether I want to do a, a mini humbucker or just a standard tele-type uh, pickup uh, setup. That's uh, one of the other builds that are taking place. And one more. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. This is a lefty neck for a jazz master style build for Mike Dojak. The uh, fret markers are all done and in place. It's been uh, slotted for frets and that'll be the next stage doing that tonight to finish up uh, drilling the tuner holes, final sanding for the uh, shaping and then it can go on to finishing. The body is done. It's just sitting now. It's ready for buffing and or sanding, final sanding and buffing. And then it's on to winding his pickups and putting all the electronics together and throwing her up. And uh, Mike's a great guy. This is his second order from me, so he's right now my favorite customer. And uh, he has the lefty um, T Class Deluxe with the uh, Lawler Wide Range pickups and loves it. He's just finished doing some recording with it, and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing that to get a take on what it sounds like. That's the other update as well. Thought I'd throw that in for you there, Mike. Okay, I have this chunk of Fijian mahogany. It's three and a quarter inches thick, and I can get two bodies out of it if I do a really exceptional uh, resaw with it. And what I want to do with it is make a couple of LP Juniors, kind of moving into the set neck angle headstock uh, realm, so that I can attract some of the Gibson players out there that aren't into the Fender bolt-on stuff. And this is, uh, I think it's 14 inches wide, 17 inches long, and the LP Juniors, I believe, are one and a half inches thick so I should have enough room to do that make a, a double cut and a single cut version and uh, see if I can uh, get some interest in that happening 
So this is the, the Fijian um, material that I used on Jock McKenzie's. And um, yeah, so that's something probably down into the fall I'll be working at. Uh, do a bit of research and just see what kind of uh, models guys like as far as whether they want the single or double pickup version. And I'll offer those probably come fall, the end of the year. Uh, those are the build updates I have so far. And uh, stay tuned. Uh, check out my TDPRI uh, vendors forum uh, threads or the Guitars Canada, my Facebook, or my YouTube or CanadianBreed.com to get all that kind of information. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.